smell. Hmm. I'm sure it must be very expensive. Well, just hundred dollars. Well, this is nice. Thank you. <laughs> Hope you got all you traveled for. Uh, the ladies' bags are so lovely. My agent will clear them in a few days. Pure leather, I guess. Not really. I missed them up. But the prices differ. Okay. I met this guy on board in my flight. And he toasted me. Hey! My baby! <laughs> Did you answer? I... Yes. But he's married. His wife has not been around. She has been in London for a three months course. But when the three months elapsed, she told him that she has to do another different course for three months again. Oh, correct, chief. That's what I'm saying. Four nineteen. <laughs> Imagine from three months to six months. Eh? You never can tell. Maybe she has met a guy that she's in love with over there. I don't think so. Um, maybe the company extended their course duration, but it does happen now. Yeah, true and sure. But anything can happen, my dear. Um, so what do you want for the married man? Honestly, I don't know. I find myself loving him so much, but babes, I have to kill this feeling I have for him. Kill which feelings? Age is not on your side, my dear. Have a child for him. What if he doesn't buy the idea? See this one. You keep the child for yourself. <laughs> I beg, leave baby matter out of this one. I know fit, I don't fit do. See this baby. Look at both of us. He's age on our side. And we getting any younger. So? It means you should just shower the man with love. You never can tell. If he leave your wife, divorce your wife and marry you. No? <laughs> Annabelle, hmm? you don't hear yourself so. The lady is a society lady. She go kill me, oh! Abi, you want me to die? I beg, I beg, I beg. Now you I love it, I love it. Are you not a society mm. lady? Uh, thank you for your advice. Uh -huh. I beg. Hello, madam. You're getting married and didn't tell me. I don't understand what you're saying, doctor. You don't understand me? Your result shows you're pregnant. Oh, um, a friend I met on the plane, but he's married. Married? How can you handle that? Do you want to be a second wife or something? No, um, actually I'll take care of the baby. Um, the father might not want it since he's married. He might ask me to get rid of it. Get rid of it? I would advise you to get rid of a pregnancy at this age. You are a good can single-handedly take care of the baby. Don't get rid of it, please. Keep it. Okay, Dr. Lau. I'll definitely keep it. You wouldn't know what that child would <laughs> will become in future. Exactly, Doctor. Please, don't. I'll it definitely is. keep it. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you very much. Okay. I appreciate it. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hi, baby. So sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry for keeping you with Okay. Why are you not taking anything? Um, no, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I actually am I'm not here for that. Well, if you say so. Baby, the reason why I I I called you here is to um is to tell you that I'm I'm pregnant for you. <laughs> listen up, listen up, uh, if if it's a joke, okay, just cut it off. Stop it. Baby, how can I joke with a thing like pregnancy? Okay, no cause for alarm. If you don't want it, I want it. I'll, I'll take care of the pregnancy myself. The reason why I called you here is to fulfill all righteousness. Sweetie, you know very well that I'm married. And if my wife finds out that another woman is carrying a child for me, she would definitely kill me. So, what do you suggest I do? Well, I would love to, to keep it, except that I can't keep two, two homes. You know? So the best thing to do right now is to go and meet the doctor and let him get rid of it. 
Is that what you want? You don't want the child, Pedro? So, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I don't want the child. But the thing, in the first place, how did you get to know you were pregnant? Did the doctor confirm it? Are you not convinced I'm pregnant? So, what do you think? Regal, I, 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 I want you to understand my plight. Because I'm, I'm married, and my wife is just, just, just like just like fire. If my wife found out that you're carrying a child for me, she would definitely kill me. Please, I beg you. I beg you, try as much as possible and get rid of it. Please. Okay, fine. I'll get rid of it myself. I'll never wish to set my eyes on you again. Listen, it hasn't got to be that. I don't get belly for bedroom. Really? Wow, that's nice. Have you told him? Yes, I have. But he doesn't buy the idea. He asked me to get rid of it. And you want to do that? Can't you understand? He's married. He can't marry me. He told me from the onset, but because of the love I had for him, I didn't mind. I think I have to do as he says. Oh, please, hold it there. Do as who says. Forbid. What if you're about to kill your last child? It can be. I don't want to have a bastard. Think of what people will say. What would people say, Regal? Why do you like thinking of what people would say? Mind you, there is nothing like a bastard. The truth is that you know the father of your baby. And you are capable of taking care of the child if he refused to accept the child. I know you can, can't you? I can, but I would have preferred the father to bring him up. Can't you understand? My dear, if I say I do not understand, I am lying. I do understand. But I cannot encourage my best friend to go for a D and C. You can bleed to death, you know. Okay, look at it this way. There are so many ladies out there who are happy being single mothers. They have their babies out of wedlock. They don't need any man to other them around. Mind you, I for whom would have long time been one. I would have really loved to have one. If not that, it's not really coming forth. Why? Why? Because I need a cute guy to give it to me well. You ask so many questions though. So is because age is no longer on my side. And these guys are they've refused to ask for my hand in marriage. So I got to do what you know a woman can do or a woman should do. Annabelle, mm -hmm. you know they give me your, your advice of well, if you know how they do me, be me like say, me get that belly. Seriously. It be me like say na me get that belly. You don't waste time. Thank you, eh? You do well. No, we'll go see Anna. Hey, baby! 
Child, we had our son, a boy. Alright, I'll wait. 
Okay. Um, I need to go. I need to go take a rest. I have to sleep. I'm tired. And I have to breastfeed as well. Okay, baby. I'm so excited right now. I can't even blame you. I'm so happy for my son, baby. You know what? Just go and take care of him. Look after him for me, alright? And look after yourself, alright? I love you guys so much. Oh, uh, baby. Good night. I'll call you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Mwah! <laughs> yes! touch with that of strangers. So, Tenna, I want to find out something. What if I came back one day to clean my job? What would you do? Is that what you plan to do to me? To disgrace me? My God. What would you gain? Tenna, it was just a joke. And you took it seriously. Now she's joking. See, she's, he's even laughing at you. Can't I joke with you? It's an expensive joke. I mean, you scared me down to my bone marrow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Huh? You say I'm sorry to... I'm sorry. the news is all over town. Your yes. wife finally had a child. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's called Michael. He's going to be the future president of this nation. <laughs> <laughs> After my son, I've handed over. Are you serious? You have to for a big party. <laughs> yeah. How did you get to do what I was planning? That's exactly what I was planning. When are they coming back? Mm, that's what I don't know yet, but uh, I sure when the baby is ready to fly. Is she preparing the child's immigration papers? It could be six months. Six months. Six months is too long for me to wait. I can't wait to six months before I see my wife and son. Perhaps you have to 
go travel go and see them have you thought about that wow yeah you know that's a brilliant idea i just pull up a surprise to my wife in london wow she'll be so excited yeah yeah uh, no 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 what am i going to tell my ceo mm, i think something around the area of medical checkup yeah that's it <laughs> that's it man <laughs> you're the right my wife would be so excited to see you just please like that. do that let her see you excited i know that she has done something wonderful for you you know what <laughs> don't do that you know what i'm doing that right now please uh, Sorry, did I wake you up? No, not really, sweetheart. Ah, the phone woke me up. But I'm fine. How was my son? He's fine. We went to the hospital together today. Ah, that's good. That's good. This really has never happened to anybody. My mother's not sure of my phone. Oh, but I, I, I've, been, I've, been, I've been texting it to you. Why haven't you been receiving it? No, not yet. I don't have it. Please, try and reprogram your phone settings, okay? Uh, well, you know, it's a, it's a new phone, so I'm still learning, you know, all its features and all that. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll do that soon. Sweetie, try as much as you can, because I really need to have a number when I come to London to look into you, baby. Did you see when you come to London to see the baby and I? Well, that should be a surprise for you anyway, it's not, it's not easy, it's because you don't have a number and I can't get your number, that's why I'm calling you to, in case I get there, I can be able to look at you. Wow. This is, this is, this is huge. I mean, it's, I, I, I have no idea you, you plan to come. <laughs> yeah, it's a surprise you didn't. So when, when when are you planning? When are you planning to come so that I can, you know, prepare to come and pick you up at the airport? That's five days from now. Oh really? Oh oh my God, Pedro, let me get back to you on on, on phone. I am baby's crying. Let me just attend to him. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you. Okay okay okay. Just case it well for me. Let him not cry. All right. Good night. I'll send you a bill tomorrow. Good. My name is Pedro. Um, my name is Ella. Yes. Ella. I'm your wife's friend. Um, I came to find out how everything is doing because we heard she was pregnant and all of a sudden she was nowhere to be found. Oh. So, yeah, I heard she gave birth. Oh, 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 she's doing wonderfully well. Okay. She and the baby, they are perfect. They're in London right now, by the way. Are you serious? Yeah. Everything is fine. <laughs> Just perfect. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm very happy for her. Oh, thank you. Thank you. She gives birth safe oh. and a bouncing baby boy. Oh, <laughs> we thank God. We thank God. Yeah, we thank God. I am 
so happy she's giving birth now. I'm so happy about her baby. Yeah, I'm so happy for myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it has been dormant for so many years ago. I'm not the first account officer to handle this account. I am the sister. In other words, you must have seen this person I have spoken to her before. Not actually. Her number doesn't ring, and her address is no longer in existence. Her last transaction with us was about 13 years ago. 13 years? Are you saying, in other words, the account has not been in operation for 13 years? The account must have been closed by now by bank if not for the huge lodgement made into the account 15 years ago. Huge lodgement? If I may ask, how much was that? You don't expect me to tell you that, do you? We don't release information like that. It's bank's policy. I see. Thank you very much for the assistance. I'll take my I hope we'll see you again. Thank you. Morris, you have to help me. I beg of you. They won't listen to me. Uh, Kelvin. Before we can obtain such information, we need to get clearance and authorization from state command. Sometimes even from the chief judge, especially if the person in question is a suspect. But in this case, she's not a suspect. Okay? Besides, my commander won't even hear of this. Maurice, I just want to find out who made the huge lodgement. That person will definitely know where she is. Then go to her village and ask her parents. My goodness. She just told me she's from River State. She never specified the exact village. There are more than a million people in River State. Where do I start from? Look, honestly, I can't help you in this case. I, I wish I could. I mean, I wish she were a suspect, but this is beyond me. Maurice, you are a police officer. Just walk into the bank straight to the account officer. I'm sure by the time you tender your ID card, they definitely will respect you. They will listen to you. You can help me, Maurice. Okay, um, I'll go with you. But first, you have to get clearance from my boss, the ACP. Fine. Bro. Pray is in a good mood. I'm praying. I'm praying right now. Let me see. Kelvin? We're in luck. Oh, really? Yes, I don't have talks with my ACP. He has given express approval for us to start the investigation. Damn it, you're the man. Thanks, thanks. I'm grateful. No, it's okay. So, um, let's go right now. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. No wasting time. I'll do it. I'll do it. Good afternoon, madam. I'm sure you've met this gentleman before. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, he came to get some information from you. Anyway, I'm Detective Morris. No, there's no cause for alarm. You see, the information I came to see you concerning is why I'm here too, madam. Thing is, we need you to help us with that information. We have no place else to turn to. You are our only hope. But why do you want to know who deposited the money? Why? Madam, I understand policies. I understand bank policies, maybe even better than you. But you see, we need you to help us. The young man has been abroad for over 13 years. He comes back and finds out that the girl is missing with his daughter. Now, any father, any real father will be concerned. If you help us, you're helping a young man find happiness. Okay, madam. I'll come in here. Look, we have searched everywhere, including her family house and neighbors. The fact that someone paid money into that account Definitely, the person must know the whereabouts of the account holder. Am I wrong? Please, don't tell anyone I told you. Uh, no, no, you are you are in the clear. No, not so much. 
the amount paid in was 3 million naira. Okay. You said 3 million naira? 3 million naira. And the name of the depositor was Parkland Estate. Parkland Estate? Yes. Okay. The address number 427 Robinson Avenue. Since then, the money has not been touched. Hmm. But please, don't tell anyone we told you. No, you are in the clear, you are in the clear. Thank, thank you. you very much, madam. I really appreciate your efforts. You are welcome, thank you. You are too kind. In fact, I'm in your debt. Thank you very much, madam. Have a wonderful day. Um, Concerning a particular client of yours who goes by the name of Margaret. Margaret? Yes. Margaret what? Pepe or Madi. Pepe or Madi? Yes. I don't think we have such name here because all my recent clients, I know them by their names. Uh, madam, this is actually not very recent. We're talking about 13 years ago. 13 years ago? Yes. That's a long time. Indeed. I'm not sure we have such a client here. Uh, well, madam, in this situation, you're actually helping us. You know, 13 years ago, uh, you, I mean, your firm deposited 3 million naira into our account. 13 years ago? Yes, yes. 3 million naira is a lot of money. You should remember such a person. 13 years ago? Yes, I remember. I personally paid that money into the account. But I never met with her. In fact, I don't know her. Um, Madam, you deposited 3 million naira into her account and uh, you say you don't know her. How come? You see, our client there, the woman, asked us to deposit that money on behalf of Yes, she gave us the money to purchase for high plot of land. After leasing out a mini triplex from our firm, then later she had a change of mind and instructed us to deposit the money into an account. And that was it. This woman, I mean this client of yours, see concerning this particular account. Can you let us have an address or possibly the address of the mini duplex you rented for her? I'm so sorry. That same mini duplex has since been sold to another client. Well, um, all the same, uh, please let us have the details because this uh, information is very important to us. You'll be helping a young man. In fact, released that uh, he's an old friend of his, and uh, as a result of the lodgement into the account, we can see if we can trace her so that you know, we can make what you would call a happy reunion. Okay, I'll make photocopies of the contents of the details. Would that be fine? Oh, beautiful! In fact, wonderful. Thank you so much. I don't understand it. The sum of 3 million naira was deposited into Margaret's account barely two weeks after I traveled to America. And she never touched it? Hmm. You, you told me that her landlord said she would rent. And yet she had 3 million naira in the bank? 
I don't get it. I don't understand it. This lady turning now, who is she? And why did she ask the sum of three million naira to be deposited into Margaret's account? Hmm. Maybe Margaret disappeared so that she can keep the money. No! She never touched the money. Besides, she even left the passbook behind. You know what I think? I think you should see this Tenena. I mean, talk to her. Maybe she's a family friend. Maybe she's a relative. But I'm sure. I just feel it inside me that she can help you find her. It's terrible. Really it's terrible. It's terrible. You don't say a word. They want to ask about your family. Don't give us any information. Okay, promise me.
fine, thank you. Can I help you? you want to stay? Yeah, I'm the manager. Are you single? Yeah, oh, single. Oh, good. I need to talk to you. It's important. I hope no problem. I just want to talk to you about that. Okay. So, what's the problem? So, I hear you're into the kind of job that fixes people. People who want to stand in the way of someone's success. Who constitute a nuisance. That's no problem at all. I just make a call. So you get my drift? Yes, I understand. Jasper, Jasper. Jasper, Alpha. Jasper, show, 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 show. Business day. Wrong call, shop, shop, eh? Okay, alright, alright. Fine, Mama. No, just worry at all. You understand? Consider your problem solved. I trust this guy. He will show that down. Get your number, I'll call you and you come immediately and you fix it. Is that okay? After all my experience, Mama, our job now. Sharp, sharp. I call it my bar. Money's not a problem. I will give you up front. And then when the job is completed, I give you the rest of the money. Fine, Mama. As we did talk so, your money is now 200 big. That's too much. Cut it down. Mama, fine, Mama. A woman be that one. You know, issue. It's okay. 200 then, I'll give you the money. Deal. Deal. You will come to the office with me, where I'm going to give you 100,000 naira offer. And then, I need to tell you something. I don't want this to be a shoddy job. It has to be tidied up. Well executed, no complication, no stories. Is that okay? No third party should be involved in this. He's already here as a third party. I don't want any other ears to hear this conversation. Mama, no worry, as we did talk soon, I just me and you and this my guy. Now only three of us. And as we did talk soon, I mean we will cover your nyash they go. No problem. Deal then. Nobody go know. No just worry. I trust him. He does good jobs. Jasper, Jasper. Sure. Need job, yes. I need your job. You guys don't go. My security man told me he wanted to see me. How may I help you? Yes, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. It must be Mr. Williams. Good afternoon. Yes, Williams. I am Detective Morris. And this here is my friend, Kelvin. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Good we are conducting investigations concerning a certain lady who lived here some years ago. All we want to know is if you knew the tenants that lived here before you moved in. No, I did not. I never met the woman. You were told 
the former tenant for the woman? Yes, a friend of mine who happened to be the chairman of the association in this neighborhood told me that this house was up for sale after a certain pregnant woman had left. So, I bought it. Um, sir, you said um, a certain pregnant woman. Yes. I don't know, can you just kindly um, describe her? I never met the woman. But my friend who is the association chairman might. Okay, and uh, who might this person be? Oh, his name is Mr. Matthew. He lives, his house is the second to the last, just along the road. Just along the road, yes. yes. Okay. Oh, well, thank you very much. You've been my most friend. helpful. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And please, just in case you have any information that might be of help to us, please do not hesitate to come to our office uh, on Noble Street. I'll do it with that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Alan. Bye-bye. Right. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How may I help you? You must be Mr. Matthew. Yes, I am. Okay. I am Detective Morris. And this is a personal friend of mine. He goes by the name of Kelvin. Yes. So, how, how may I help you? Yes, sir. We are here to make inquiries concerning a certain Mrs. Tenena, who lived in the house of a certain Mr. Williams about 13 years ago. You mean the lady that used to be a former tenant at um, Chief Williams' apartment? Yes. Ah, she hardly attended any of our meetings. Um, I want to ask you, Mr. Matthew, when she lived in that residence, was she there with anybody or any people? Uh, not that I know of, because I, I, I never met the husband. Although it's, it's been quite a while. I don't actually know what she looks like. One minute. Okay, okay, yes. That's that's her. That's the lady. Um I are you the husband? You mean this is the pregnant lady you used to see at that house? Of course, I'm sure. Uh, because I, I used to go invite her for our weekly meetings, the one we hold in our neighborhood. But she and her husband they never attended or they've never shown up at all for the meeting. Mr. Matthew, I'm going to ask you, and I expect that you answer me as honestly as possible. Do you have any idea where she might be right now? No, I don't. She simply vanished. And we've never seen her or her child again. And the house has been vacant for, for over a year now. And a friend that used to come see her also vanished. What kind of a friend is that? She's, she's a lady, she's fair in complexion. Um, you know, she hardly associates with people around the neighborhood. You know, she keeps to herself and all that. Um, I, well, I, I noticed that um, she, she, she comes in and out only in the night. You know? Uh, Mr. Matthew, thank you very much. You've been of immense help to the police. Let's go. I just don't get it. How could she just disappear? I have a very bad feeling, Morris. A very bad one. This woman that has been visiting Margaret's house is no other person but Tenena. She paid three million naira into Margaret's account, rented a mini duplex for her, and then visited us secretly only at night. And yet denied ever knowing Margaret. But why, boys? Why? I think I know why. Why? I think Margaret married someone else. And she wants to make sure that you don't ever see her again. I don't think so, Morris. The way she abandoned her house, a huge lot of money in her account that she never touched. And besides, when I met with Tenina, she lied to me. She lied to me. 
this whole thing doesn't amount to I don't I I can just something is wrong somewhere, Morris. Something is wrong. I think I know what to do. I'll have this woman followed from tomorrow. Wherever she goes, I'll trail her. Okay? I mean, suddenly you show up. She's going to want to visit Margaret. And when she does that, I want to be there to trail her. I think she holds the key to this mystery. But first, we'll have to pay our another visit. This is brilliant, Morris. This is a good idea. I'm sure by now Telina will be ready to open up. Definitely, Margaret must have told her a lot of bad things about me.
come and why, why are you sounding like this? Several lots of people have seen you with Margaret. Instead of admitting the fact that you know Margaret, you're denying. Okay, fine. N name it. What do you want? How much? Do you, well, I, I can pay you. Look, Kevin, no matter how much you plead and beg and plead, what I don't know is what I don't know. Honestly. Right now, I have so much to do. My table is filled up with files. I have a board meeting to attend. Hey, Mr. Black, I have a message for you. I'm on Milan Street. Two guys on a bike just shot a guy. Yes, two guys on a bike. Yes, yes. One is putting on a camo t-shirt, Timberland brown boots, uh, uh, and, and dark shades. He, he, he had black gloves. Yes, on Milan Street they just shot a guy and he's dead right now. No, no, no. They went through Milan Street, and I'm sure if you can just double cross them from Milan Road, you'll get them. Yes, yes. I'm coming right away. Good, good. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Kevin! Kevin! What happened? This guy just got shot. You killed him? No, no, I didn't kill him. Two guys just shot him on the bike. Look, this guy is dressed exactly the way you are dressed. What does that tell you? It's possible they wanted you, Kevin. So what? Yes, they wanted you. How can they want me? Look at him. Kevin, look, I've called, I've called state command already. Let's get out of this place. The government has apologized for the power outage experience in the country recently. The presidency has promised to make funds available to the electricity complaint of Nigeria as soon as possible to remedy the embarrassing situation. Two suspected armed robbers on a motorbike assassinated a man in the street today. An eyewitness, a police officer, alerted a team of police who acted fast. As the team of police closed up on them, the assassin jumped off the motorbike and took to his heel. A police officer went after him and got shot. As the assassin tried to pull his trigger the second time, the officer shot and killed him. The bike rider, who was also escaping, got crushed by a trailer. What? On the gory side, can't show that image. Oh my god, this is not happening! Investigation what? still on. The federal government of Nigeria oh, has yeah. intensified oh. efforts in eradicating oh. militancy in the country. Oh, no, no, no. 5,000 troops from the armed forces have been sent to the affected area where they have strongholds. More than 200 militants have oh, been. What, what is it? Uh, oh, just uh, some armed robbers, you know, the way they were killed. That they were armed robbers. Armed robbers. So why are you showing so much concern for armed robbers? I mean, people who don't have sympathy for their victims. It's terrible sight. Mm. Ah. Michael, go to bed. Daddy, I don't feel sleepy. I said go to bed. Thank you. 
Mr. Boris, you, you asked me here, so what is it? Yes, yes. <clears throat> I found something. I followed that woman today. You followed her to Margaret's house? Did you see Margaret? What did you see? No, no, I didn't, but I found something else. I saw her pick a certain small boy and drive to a particular house. Oh, Maurice, that is insignificant. That could be her son from school. Look, Kelvin, the boy seems to me to belong between the ages of uh, 11, 12, 13, thereabouts. Okay? If that boy is her son, remember, she was supposed to be pregnant the same time Margaret was. Well, she could have been pregnant. Yes, she could have been. But what we were told was that Margaret was pregnant and that she visited Margaret secretly. Then in other words, she should know everything about Margaret. If my assumptions are right, then it means that uh, that boy could just be your son. My son? I have a son? No, 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 no. I'm not too sure what the details are right now, so please don't get over excited. But one thing I do know, one thing I'm very sure about right now is that we have a criminal case. She is a suspect. Maurice, if we call this a criminal case and we're wrong, that would be false accusation. No, 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 it's not possible. Then she'll have to explain to us why she rented a mini duplex for her. She'll have to explain to us why she paid three million naira into her account. She'll have to explain to us why she visited her only at night and secretly. In fact, as it is right now, I'm getting an arrest and search warrant. Hello? Yes, yes. Oh, really? Oh, wait. Okay, okay, okay. I'll be there right away. Thank you. Who was that? Ah, uh, the current tenant living in the house my used to stay. I gave them my number just in case they had something interesting. What did they find as interesting? Well, they just called and told me that's something you would like us to look at. So let's go see the meeting. Let's go at once. My daughter found something in the kitchen cabinet. So I never knew who owned it, but I suspected the last tenant of this house. So I kept it in case you come for it. Here. Pedro Azuma. Does the name and uh, the picture ring a bell? Not at all, but um, Azuma happens to be the second name on the estate agent's document. Perhaps the lady Tenena can help us. Because from the documents the estate agent handed over to us, she's Tenena Azuma. Kelvin. I think we found our accomplice. Gentlemen, thanks for helping me, please. You're welcome. And, uh, sir, please uh, let the documents remain with us. It will help us in our investigation. Thank you very much, sir. All right, my pleasure. <laughs> I tried calling you, but I 
they don't respond. Uh, okay, uh, sweetie, please um, let me talk to her for a minute, please. Uh, like I said, my, you know she's my old time friend. I explain to you later, all right? What happened to your phone? Actually, I had to change my line because of the way you treated me when I was pregnant with this your son. Is this my son? Yes, sweetie. He's your father. Oh, that. No, my said he was in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was in London, I, 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 but, I'm, but I'm back now. But why didn't you come home? I prefer to stay here. I told mom several times that my friend believed me that we bastard. Most times, it's your dad that comes to pick them from school. Dad, please come home. Please. It's okay, it's okay. It's a long story, okay? It's a long story. Um, actually, Pedro, that, I had to change his school because of the way they treated him. Um, Rigor. My wife is standing over there and she looks very impatient. So I suggest that you give me your phone, let me um, give you my number. You can call me some other time, then we can sit and discuss this. Alright? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's going on? Oh, sweetie is my old time friend. My friend I told you about, Rigor. She's the one. So we're just trying to exchange numbers so we can uh, keep talking. And that's a son. That's a son. Very nice boy. Okay, Regal, I'll see you later. Okay. okay. You must be Mr. Pedro Azuma. Yes. Well, I'm Detective Morris, and these are men of my squad. And this is a personal friend, Kelvin. We'd like to see you to have a word or two with you, sir. Um, really? Well, Detective Morris, I, am I being invaded? Oh, not at all, sir. Like I said, just a word or two. Okay. Come on in, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Secretly, only at night. What? 
What, what, what are you talking about? What? Sorry, what are you talking about? What money? What many duplex? What are you talking about? Who is Margaret? I don't know who Margaret is. Sorry. Mr. Abdullah, I would advise that you stop playing ignorant and innocent with us. Because we have our facts and they are very clear. What well, is the more this nonsense has got to stop right now? Because I've told you I don't know this what you are talking about. And I said you do! So stop lying! I'm not lying, I don't know this what you're talking about. Do you understand? Okay. What was your international passport? And an unused flat ticket doing in the kitchen of the house so while his pocket is to have rented for this market. Okay. Oh my god. Sorry, oh. I, I, I lost it here. How did it get to the place you're talking about? Supposed to be you doing this thing, right? Exactly. So, how? You must have been stolen. Well, according to our findings, your wife, Miss Telena Azuma, was in the country, secretly visiting this Margaret in this house where she rented for her. What a minute. I. I know her. My name is Ella. Yes, Ella. I'm your wife's friend. Um, I came to find out how everything is doing because we heard she was pregnant and all of a sudden she was nowhere to be found. Oh. So, yeah, I heard she gave birth. Yes, I did know she, 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 she came to my house and she told me that she's my, my wife's friend. Yes, I, I remembered. Very. From what you just said, it is evident you know her. But your wife here claims she doesn't know her. Well, according to our findings and from statements made by those who knew your wife then, your wife was not pregnant. It was Margaret that was pregnant. But, and when she gave birth, she disappeared and your wife disappeared also. Mr. Pedro, was your wife ever pregnant? Again. Or you at any time voted your wife was Yes, yes, I, 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 my wife was. So, so, this time you're supposed to be in London carrying our child in your womb. So, what are they talking about? I have no idea. Um, Mr. Azuma, may I have my coffee? Thank you. Uh, is that your son, Mr. Azuma? Yes, that's my son. His name is Michael. We'll have to conduct a DNA test to confirm your claims. In the meantime, you and your wife are under arrest. But for false information and that means What are you talking about? Sir, you're not saying anything! What are these people talking about? I don't know what they're talking about! I don't know who Margaret is! I'm talking absolute crap! Can't you see? Oh, that's it, that's so. Of course! Because you are a child! They are talking absolute crap!
I told you. Ah, I love you, baby. I love you. I love you. Mama loves you. Mama loves you. <laughs> okay, I think we need to get some rest now. Hmm? Okay, time to sleep. Oh, there you go. The child knows her mother's touch. Blood is thicker than water. The child is not mine. He will not know me as his mother. A child knows the mother's touch. The child will never know my touch. Yeah, I'm not right still. Hello, baby. Can we have a 
everything, okay? Let us separate. You know, you don't have to arrest us, please. in my house? What the hell are you doing here? We got, I've come so we can talk. I, I need to talk to you. Um, Rigel, why not take him in? Put a few shoes, solve your problems out. If not for anything, for the boy. Douglas, darling. I'll see you later, okay? okay? I'm already late for my event. I'll get you the chocolate. Be a good boy. Love you. Okay, dear. Bye -bye. I'll call you. Okay. Baby, please. Forgive me. I know I've wronged you. Please forgive me for all that I've done to you. My wife deceived me. The boy that's supposed to be my son was never my son. I beg you. So, what do you want me to do? How is it my business? I want you to accept me back in your life. I need you. I also need my son. Mom, And we're first 
to do something that we don't want to do. Oh, it can happen to anyone, cause in life is a sure problem for everyone. So the question is, how far are you willing to go? At what point are you gonna say no? How desperate you are will determine what you will do. Oh, what you do can backfire. Whoa, 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 it can backfire. Backfire. It will surely backfire. It will surely It's true you were under pressure And it's causing you so much displeasure But there's no excuse to do what you did Cause it will come back to you Yes indeed, that's the way it goes Cause nothing is hidden under the sun When the time comes, there'll be nowhere for you to run You will face the 